Hello folks, welcome to DevOps Coach channel. In this video, we are going to learn how to trigger webhooks in Jenkins. So we are going to take this particular use case where, you know, as soon as developer pushes the code change in Bitbucket, we want to trigger a build job, which we are going to configure in Jenkins instantly, right? So that is the use case, right? Uh, because every time developer pushes the code change, they may want to kickstart the build instantly, right? Without even waiting. So that is what webhooks are. So we are going to do that in this video. I also have documented step in my website as well, which is coachdevops.com. So this is the uh, article. Okay. So this is what we are going to do. Um, I also have my Jenkins setup. Okay. This does not have anything installed. This is a brand new Jenkins, which I just set up. And this is my uh, repository okay so this is the repository i'm going to uh, you know configure in order to automate uh, you know this particular web application okay all right so let's get started um, if you look at my website right so one of the prerequisites is you know we are going to install bitbucket plugin in jenkins so i'm going to go under manage jenkins and uh, install bitbucket plugin here and then search bitbucket plugin okay so you have to install this plugin right this is going to integrate uh, you know with Jenkins so once you install this plugin uh, you know we are going to configure our Jenkins uh, build job you know in Jenkins okay so this is the changes we have to do Okay, so yes, this is done. So let's go ahead and create a uh, build job. Yes, right. You can also do free sale job or you can also do pipeline job. It doesn't matter. This web books is applicable for any kind of a uh, build job in Jenkins. So let me go ahead and create a new job. So I'm going to call this as my first uh, automate job. You can give any name, doesn't matter. Select a free sale project and say okay. Under source code management, I'm going to refer my um, repository URL. So this is the URL. I'm going to go ahead and add my credential. This is my Bitbucket credential. Okay. I'm going to give some description. Add. Not going to save that. I'm going to choose from a drop down. Awesome. So it has picked up my credential and then under build triggers, um, this is where you have to click on this option. You see it build, you know, when a change is pushed into Bitbucket, right? So when you select this option, whenever developer commits a uh, code change into this particular, you know, repository, they are going to invoke this particular uh, build job. Okay. So that's what we are going to do. And uh, I'm going to add this as well let's quickly do a build right in install and this is where my project is my palm.xml file under the particular folder perfect so let's go ahead and apply and save so that's the changes you know you have to do from a Jenkins standpoint let's go to Bitbucket and this is the uh, you know repository right so I'm gonna go and click on the repository settings and go to webhooks and we have to add a webhook so click on add webhook you can give any title it doesn't matter so I'm gonna say my webhook and under URL I'm going to add this URL okay so this is our Jenkins URL right so I'm going to add this Jenkins URL and uh, so that's the Jenkins URL and then in the end all we have to add is bitbucket iPhone hook. That's all you have to add. Bitbucket iPhone hook. Let me make sure the syntax is right. Yeah, that's fine. Bitbucket iPhone hook. Right. So once you add that, you know, every time you make a code change, this should be able to, uh, you know, uh, uh, kickstart the build job in Jenkins. So I'm going to choose this option. 
and that's it right click on save so now let's go ahead and make a code change so let me go to my web app i'm going to make a quick code change in bitbucket that should uh, trigger build in jenkins automatically or instantly rather okay so let me quickly make this change uh, let's see i want to make a change welcome to right so i'm going to say you know we are testing the books using bid bucket and Jenkins okay so the moment I commit the code it should make a build right here okay so let me make a change I'm gonna say making a change to trigger build in Jenkins okay let's commit So the code has been committed. So let's go to Jenkins. Wow, you see here? The bill has been triggered. Right, see here? The bill has been triggered. Right? So every time developer commits the code into a bit bucket, you know, that should uh, trigger the bill instantly. Right? So that's how, guys, that's how you configure, um, you know, uh, web books in bit bucket in order to trigger build in Jenkins automatically. Thank you for watching.